Elosia. I am Professor Abed Kucha. In recent studies, we have discovered that a retard, yes, just a simple mentally disabled handicapped person, has the ability to survive a nuclear holocaust, that of the equivalent of 13 Hiroshima's. The son, aka a retard, is very retard, as we might say in the scientific language, dumb. As you can see, he has the ability, after exposing to over a million rods of radiation, he is still running normally, except for the occasion of being scared of a simple world and falling down like a dumb idiot. Right here, as you can see, he notices the camera finally, and, well, the test is failed. After exposing the retard to over a million rads, rads of radiation several times over, each time being over two hours in length of radiation non-stop, we felt that we should put this retard to the true test. As you can see, inside the test room after he's come in, he realizes that we have put a giant jelly bean in. Nonetheless, he does not know. It is secretly a giant nuclear bomb. At first, he barely notices it. But then, he begins to run around for some reason. Hmm, interesting. He realizes that it is his mortal enemy, the wall, again. He doesn't pay attention to the beam for some reason, aka the bomb. After a while of jumping around, he comes back to the bomb. Trying to realize it is, he licks his finger and pokes it. Nothing happens because the bomb has not gone off yet. He goes back to it and sees that it is a giant jelly bean. Tastes it. And obviously, it is good. But it is a bad trip. After the nuclear explosion, it seems we um, actually killed the retard. I guess what we were truly trying to test is the radiation and how much they can take. Um, it seems that the actual explosions, the fire, um, all the garbage going everywhere, um, anything like that actually killed him. Plus we had some random guy shooting at him. That that was bad too. So it seems overall that three thoughts can withstand the radiation, mm, but not so much the actual explosion of a nuclear bomb. Right. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of science and discoveries from the univ from the dumbass university. Thank you and have a good day.